Ooh. I'm just gonna get me probably one of this to make some salad. I'm cooking one thing for me and something else for the boys. Probably should take another one. This may just do for now. Alright. Wish me luck that I don't skid and fall down this hill. Oh Lord be with me. Ooh. So we got two. Now it's for me to get back up there. Amazon. Play music by Caleb and Kelsey on Pandora. Caleb and Kelsey Radio from Pandora. Calm down. You have a few idea what I'm cooking for the boys. And lucky for me, I already have some stuff that have been prepped. Some dashing bush. Opos. What's this? Pumpkin. And I have about five pizza meals in there. So anytime somebody wants something different to eat or just need to grab a meal on the go, I have them covered. Have so planting. Have a dry coconut. I have the patch to make the salad. Some frozen okra. Some taro leaf or dashing bush. Dashing bush, you know it has, you mean it has taro leaf. Pumpkin and... No, not no mangoes. We ain't cooking any mangoes. <laughs> Over here, I have some salt fish that I have already washed. And I'm putting to school. I have a husband who cannot apparently eat without meat, so you know I have to accommodate my darling. Let me get this salad started for the long awaited fat choy salad. And most likely, I'll do a shorts and make salad again, and I'll do a shorts with it. Keep pairing it. So, I just like to cut it up small enough. I'm adding this cucumber. Because I didn't pick enough um, pad choy, but I actually like it more with cucumber than without. It's in my pink salt, apple cider vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, and garlic. I'm not going to add any canned pepper, but I love to put canned pepper in it. I have to put it on my food alone because I'm making food for the children as well. It's a grated garlic. This is some pink Himalayan salt. I like to put just a quart of apple cider vinegar. Which has become my real good friend by now. You all would know that, right? And it gives the food such a unique, unique taste. And some extra virgin olive. Listen, I'm a kind of weird one, so I would eat this with peas. I would eat this as a matter pack by itself. I'll drop some sausage on it, or just as a side on my food. But today, I think I'm boiling some. Um, what do I think? I'm boiling some plantain. I'm gonna pong it. Probably make something like fufu. I don't know fufu yet. I would have to eat this by itself. I think I'll probably boil two eggs. I mean, not boil any piece today. I'm not sure. Probably two eggs with my salad and some pong plantain. I have some lentils in the fridge. That's the most fantastic idea. And I used to put some okra in the pot. Boil it down without salt fish. Oh my gosh. I get the salt from the salt fish and tastes so nice. And I have a a good bit of okra. I sorry, I didn't think of that it's about before. to go down. I have my onions and flipper pepper. I have my salt fish here under this salt fish. I have a nice glass of coconut juice that I blend and made. I have some garlic that decided they wanted to grow and I needed it to cook. Uh, some size, some thyme, some what else? Some celery, ginger. If I didn't mention it before. I'm going to use infused coconut oil to cook today and uh, complete seasoning. My washed rice, some pumpkin, taro dashing leaf, and 
okras. Right, so I'm going in with my infused garlic oil, coconut garlic oil. And you'll find that I put in quite a bit because the salt fish have to fry up in it first. So I'm putting in the salt fish to fry up. And this is how my husband likes it. So you all do like the salt fish to get kind of burn. And there is no way to do it this way anyway, doing the salt fish first. So it's no hard and fast way. This is how I did because my husband loves it this way. This time I'm gonna add my garlic, onions and peppers. At this point, I'm going in my taro leaves. But on another bashing bush, my pumpkin. And my okra. Give it a nice little stir up. I'm gonna add some coconut milk in there now. Oh boy, it looks so good, so thick and rich and nice already. Smell the smell, you see the smell? Oh boy. The smell is really, really good. That's a great indication, a great indicator for it to taste. I'm going in with my rice and all for now, I'm not adding any more salt because I'm depending on the salt fish to do its thing. What I'm also going to do is add some more of my coconut juice. And guys, I didn't throw anything for my coconut juice. I kept my hocks so that when I'm making bake, I can put it on top bread. The smell right now is so awesome. What I'm going to do I'm gonna send this down to medium heat, medium to low heat, and cover it with my tawa. And I'm gonna leave it to do its thing. So let's check the pot. Yeah, doesn't look bad, does it? I'm not getting too high a scent, which means that I have to put some more salt in it. So put a bit of pink salt in it. And I'm also going to put in some complete seasoning. Right, I'm not ready to put in my rest of green seasoning as yet. Glue, look at where the food looks. Let's cover it down again. I'm going the stove a little bit lower again. Because the next time I raise this, I want to be, this to be more or less cooked to put in the green seasoning. Okay, let's check on this thing. Oh! This is what I call perfect. This is what I call perfect, but I still have my green seasoning. But I'm about to clean up my pot. Just going to give this out. 30, not even, not even 30 seconds. Mix it in, and at this point, my pot is completed. Guys, look at this. Take a look at that. Let me turn on the stove. My food looks like I couldn't resist, I had to take some of that rice. <laughs> 